hi guys welcome back so in previous video we were able to install uh, wise router in gns and uh, now before we could actually configure a device through ansible so uh, we would require some uh, sort of workstation there so that we can just connect to different different devices establish a ssh connection with those devices then again we can uh, do all sort of configuration related uh, operations there so uh, I will be installing the Fedora workstation here. I mean, you can install uh, Windows, uh, Ubuntu as well. So in this case, uh, I will be giving demo for Fedora workstation. So uh, let's just start. So we can just simply look for Fedora workstation download. So, uh, we would require this one iso image so we can just simply click on download uh, just to save the time i have already downloaded this so i'm going to pause it and we can just skip this so there we have uh, fedora workstation uh, i think it it's 31 yeah so we can just uh, simply go to virtual box and the way we did uh, install the wires iso there we can just simply uh, do similar steps for fedora as well so uh, just i already have a uh, one iso image installed there so i'm going to remove it So okay, so just click on new, uh, provide a name there, Fedora 31 and uh, I would allocate somewhere around like 3 GB, I think 3 GB would be sufficient. Next, uh, create a virtual hard disk now and a virtual box disk image. So yeah, it's dynamically allocated and I think 16 GB would be enough. So again, we need to do some sort of configuration here as well. So uh, let's go to the network. I'm going to enable all the adapters here. And uh, so uh, I'm going to select not attach. So we will be just controlling these uh, adapters through GNS just like we did for the wise uh, network device so uh, let's go to the storage and now we can just simply select our ISO there it is okay and uh, yeah again I mean we can just simply uh, run this through virtual box as well but we would need this in GNS so I'm going to uh, start this uh, through GNS so yep okay so let's go to the preferences and add it and uh, there we have virtual box VMs and so uh, let's just add new one and there we have Fedora 31 so now we can just edit it and we can increment the number of adapters here we had four so now we can just uh, have this appliance here so there it is Fedora 31 sorry okay so to start this you can simply right click on it and then choose start So it will take some time. So 
so yes so uh, you have two options you can directly run it through ISO image and uh, so and another one is uh, you can just simply install it to hard drive I already have one there so I'm not gonna install it to hard drive here or maybe I can just install it to uh, show you guys so let's just uh, try to install to hard drive okay so we'll just choose the language okay uh, now we can just begin installation uh, so problem in running it through uh, ISO image directly is that uh, you're gonna lose all your uh, configuration and install software data uh, as soon as you uh, power off the device so uh, it's good to have it installed onto the hard disk so in that way you can just save all your data and you don't need to configure uh, every time you come up uh, especially through the ISO image so yeah I think it's about to finish now well finally uh, we can finish installation now so here we are with our brand new fedora workstation installed so yeah that's it for this video and in our next tutorial we will just try to install ansible on this workstation and after that we'll try to establish a connection to wireless uh, router and we will just do the configuration through the ansible so thank you so much for watching this and see you in next video